In Ivory Coast's economic capital, Abidjan, a man openly shows off his Kalashnikov, a reminder of the post-electoral violence which rocked the country in 2011 and left 3,000 people dead. He, like many others in this West African nation, has kept hold of his guns. We got involved with our young ones next to us. They encouraged us. They were behind us. We went to battle and we won. Then we gathered up all of Bagbo's weapons from the town. In another part of Abidjan, weapon dealers reveal a highly sought-after automatic handgun, discreet and easy to handle. A weapon like this costs around 30 euros a day to hire or 200 euros to buy. The men claim to have all models available, complete with ammunition. We have automatic handguns, Kalashnikovs, 12.7 caliber heavy machine guns, RPGs, everything. We have AK-47s, a weapons arsenal for war. In a bid to encourage peace in the country, Ivory Coast's government has created a national commission to collect and destroy weapons that are being illegally bought and sold. But it's a massive task. Tens of thousands of weapons are in circulation in spite of a UN arms embargo in place since 2004. We're coming out of the crisis. Weapons were distributed, lots of people took them from operational sites and where battles took place. Everyone got their hands on them. And now we're asking people who illegally kept their weapons to get rid of them. We're appealing to them to voluntarily give up their arms. Faced with this mammoth task, the UN's offering support to the Ivorian state, and thousands of weapons have already been recovered. There's an awareness phase which normally lasts a few days and targets political and administrative authorities, as well as civilians and NGOs. Then two or three days are spent collecting weapons. But these efforts aren't enough. The UN is now calling for a national policy to be put in place to battle the proliferation of weapons in Ivory Coast.